hello and welcome back so now in this video we will give damage to a random object in our scene okay so that you guys know that how we can give damage to different objects okay and then in later in this course we will give damage to the enemy once we have create our enemy ai okay for now let's just give damage to this box okay this wood crate so right here what we will do is first of all we will create a c-sharp script let's name this as object or objects because you can apply this script then to whatever object you want and then right here let's remove that and at the top let's create a public float and let's name this as object health okay and by default this will be equals to 100 f and then right down below we will create a function or you can say a method by the name of object hit damage and in here we will pass a float by the name of amount okay so then this function or method will need a amount okay and after that we will say that object health minus equals to amount and from where this amount will come this will come from the rifle script so right here we will type a code so that whenever we hit whatever object that is containing this object script okay if we hit that then we will give this damage to that object okay and then this give damage will be equals to this amount and then as you can see this is the amount so consider this as 10f okay so now this amount is 10f so then 10f will be minus from this object health okay so for example if we if the object health is 100 and as you know our rifle give damage of 10 units so 100 minus 10 will be then equals to 90 so then the object health will be 90 and as we shoot the object the object health will simply decrease okay so after that what we want to we will say that if the object health become less than or equals to 0 f okay then what we want to do it simply means that if the object dies okay so what we want to do we want to destroy this object so for that first of all let's right here create a function by the name of die and in here we will say destroy and we will simply destroy that game object okay whatever game object contain the script that object will be then destroyed and right here we will simply call this die function now let's pass a value to this amount from the rifle script so now you will be thinking that how we will apply damage to that specific game object for that we will create a reference to this object script okay so as you know its name is object okay its main class name is objects so right here we will say objects and we will name this as objects as well okay the o is small this time and this will be equals to hit info dot transform dot get component and then right here we will say objects okay so what this means this simply means that if we hit whatever in our scene okay and for example if we hit some object for example that box which i showed you and if that box contain this objects script okay then we will get all of the information about that and then we will say that if objects is not equals to null okay it means that if it contains the script then what we will do we will simply say that objects dot object hit damage now this is basically this function object hit damage and it needs this amount so let's pass this amount to it so we will say give damage and give damage is this 10f okay so now this give damage will pass to this amount and then it will just 
minus that amount from the object health and when the health become less than or equals to zero the object will simply get destroyed okay so that is fairly simple and i hope you understand it now let's just save this get back to unity and now let's click on this object okay first of all let's add a mesh collider to it and actually you can add a box collider to it as well because this is a box so we will add the box collider okay and then let's drag and drop the script right there okay this is the health and now if we play the game you will notice that now if we try to hit this object okay first of all let me just lock the cursor whenever we play the game because it gets really irritating like that so in order to do that right here we will create a start function and in here we will just simply say that cursor dot lock state and this will be equals to cursor lock mode and lock mode will be dot lock okay that's it now save it and now if we play the game you will notice that our cursor will be locked to the screen as you can see now it is locked okay it is now in the center of the screen okay so now let's try to hit this object first of all let me click on it actually this is the object this is the health as you can see we shoot on it so that's why it, it is the object health decreases to 90 now if we try to shoot it again okay let's zoom in aim on the object let's hit it as you can see it is now 80 you can notice it right here okay on the script now let's hit it again 70 60 50 40 30 20 10 and now as you can see it becomes zero and the object is being destroyed now if we stop the game it will appear again because whatever happens in the game window doesn't affect our scene okay so in this way we will give damage to our enemy as well and then we will kill the enemy okay this was just a basic understanding of how you can give damage to different objects so now you can apply this script to whatever object you want and then just give the object a health okay your specific health and then when you try to hit that object it will get destroyed so with this done let's end this video right here